Russia changed tactics on attacking Ukraine's energy system. Losses are worse than last year. The Russian Federation has shifted its tactics in attacking Ukraine's energy infrastructure. Losses have escalated beyond those suffered during the massive strikes of 2022 to 2023, according to the Financial Times. Instead of widespread shelling, the militants have focused on precision missile strikes on power stations in less defended regions. Some of these stations may not be restored before the next winter. According to Ukrainian officials, the damage inflicted by Russia are not as extensive but are worse than those in the winters of 2022 to 2023. From March the 22nd to the 29th, Russia targeted seven thermal power plants and two hydroelectric power stations. However, energy facilities in Kyiv remain untouched by the Russians due to the capital's robust air defense system. Ukraine did not provide details on the extent of damage at each power plant, but officials said that some, including those in Kharkiv Oblast near the Russian border, were almost completely destroyed adds the publication. Maria Tsatorian, head of communications at Ukrenergo, noted that Russians are deploying the same number of missiles against five to six energy targets in one region as they did during the mass strikes in 2022 to 2023. While Ukrenergo can protect smaller substations with defensive structures, large power stations require months or even years to restore. Another difference from last year's attacks is that Russia has begun using expensive precision ballistic missiles. Andriy Herus, chairman of Ukraine's Parliamentary Committee on Energy and Utilities, revealed that during a recent attack on a coal power station, Russians used ballistic missiles worth $100 million. According to Ukrainian military intelligence representative Andriy Cheniak, the enemy also deploys a large number of UAVs as a cheaper means of targeting such as transformers. Cheniak said that Ukraine expected attacks at the beginning of winter, but now it's become known that the missiles they used were just recently manufactured. Ukraine to Europe. Prepare for your own war with Russia. Russia is ready to swallow Europe whole, a top Ukrainian commander has warned less than two months after he led a costly evacuation from a key city on the Eastern Front Line. Speaking to the Independent from an undisclosed location in Donetsk, Deputy Commander of Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade, Maxim Zorin, issued a troubling warning to Kyiv's Western partners. The West, he said, must urgently prepare, create serious defense systems that could counteract Russia because it will undoubtedly open its mouth and try to swallow the rest of Europe, he warned. The Independent says that it is the latest in a string of warnings from Ukrainian military and political figures that Russia will not stop with Ukraine. But it comes less than two months after Zorin helped lead a difficult evacuation from Avdiivka, the first Ukrainian city to be taken over by Russia since last May, in part because a recent lack of Western military support had left Ukrainian forces there at a significant disadvantage. Zorin, more than most, knows the cost of an advancing Russia. During his interview, the first with Western media since the fall of the city, Mr. Zorin was blunt about the reality of the Eastern front line while Western weapon supplies are delayed or simply being withheld and he was frank about the future of European security. A US military package worth roughly $60 billion has been in limbo in Washington for seven months, victim to squabbling politicians. While European partners have failed to send more than half of the million artillery shells they promised to Kyiv by this year, unable to agree on how to finance their production. Zorin claims his unit has killed up to 15,000 Russians in the past few months alone, but the threat of another push by Putin's forces is now real. And then it's Europe next. Use this time wisely, the deputy commander says, addressing Kyiv's Western partners directly. Russian State Duma deputy named a new victim of his country. This is Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan may become a new victim of Russian aggression. This statement was allegedly made by Russian State Duma deputy Andriy Gurulev, who has the rank of lieutenant general. According to the Telegram channel, Vichek OGPU, the politician named the new victim of the Russian Federation in a voice message that he sent to colleagues from the Defense Committee. The recording was leaked online. The Kazakhs, having seen enough of Ukraine, are very bitched that they are next. They are now getting ready. In principle, I think there is already a solution, said the deputy. Earlier, it became known that one of the largest banks in Kazakhstan, Halik Bank, stopped 
servicing Russian Mir cards from the end of February. It is worth noting that Kazakhstan is considered a state friendly to the Russian Federation. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022 led some observers to assume that Kazakhstan would pivot its foreign relations away from Russia towards the West. The country has maintained an officially neutral position towards the war and no longer sees Russia as its security guarantor in the same way it once did. Kazakhstan frequently criticizes Russian-led regional economic integration efforts, but Kazakh business elites have enduring and lucrative ties with Russia and Moscow has other important economic leverage over its southern neighbor. Additionally, Russia now controls 25% of Kazakhstan's uranium production. Russia and China have a shared interest in seeing Kazakhstan become more integrated with their economies and move partly away from the West without fully closing a window to the unsanctioned world for Russia. Kazakhstan shares a 4,500-mile border with its northern neighbor, and decoupling their interdependent economies is not easy.